very important in mixed martial arts is how you kind of uh, work around with the community you surround yourself with. And I feel like if there's one thing that fighters around each other understand more than anything is that you're all in this together and, and you're all in this to make the world a better place, not just in the sport of mixed martial arts, but also just uh, giving, you know, the next kid coming up that motivation to keep going, giving them something to, to kind of move ahead on. And that's a kind of a responsibility as athletes, I feel like kind of goes, you know, amok or forgotten is the responsibility to to give the, the younger generation that kind of voice of hope. And that's something that I know we're transitioning more into like uh, uh, something that at least stands out to me is your, you know, uh, friendships and uh, a friendship that stands out to me of you and Bilal Muhammad. That's something that really stands out to me is that friendship and you know that that ability to captivate such a, uh, a small group of people that's slowly growing uh, i kind of just want to go into that for real quick because obviously the the way you guys met each other was uh if i'm not mistaken at a ufc athlete retreat but kind of just um go into obviously how you met Bilal and just uh you know the the friendship there because i feel like in mixed martial arts obviously in, in recent time with you know we've seen the smash brothers you know darren till and hamza the friendships that have been growing in mixed martial arts that's some some of the most important things i feel like is uh there for an athlete in this sport so kind of just tell us about that sure so yeah um i was friends with felder for a while before he got signed to usc uh i had just got signed that was actually five years ago march 15th uh but that may we were all brought out to vegas for the ufc athlete retreat and Bilal was already at Rufus Sport, which is where he met. I mean, Paul was at Rufus Sport, which is where he met Bilal. So, you know, I, I only knew a couple of people that were in the UFC or that were at the athlete retreat. So Paul was like, you know, I'll come obviously hang out with us. And that's where I met Bilal. And uh, we rolled together like the day after I kicked his ass. Uh, literally. And <laughs> hate me for this, but uh, so I was gonna watch this, he's gonna clip this, and he's gonna yeah. be like, Jared, it's the other way around, but it wasn't. That's the, that's the, actually it's the truth, too. But um, sorry, I still love him. <laughs> um, so I decided to go to Rufus Sport, and I came down after that to train with Paul because he was supposed to fight Alec Quinta. And, you know, I'm similar style to Al, so he asked me to come help him. So I was down there for, like, a, a couple of weeks. I met, you know, I hung out with Bilal Moore, became friendly with him, and I stayed at, their, at his apartment while I was there at Bilal's apartment. So, you know, we became friends. Uh, and then I decided to move to Rufus Sport. He was like, come, come stay. We got, I got an open room. So I moved in with Bilal. And we were roommates for like close to two years. And obviously, you know, we trained every day together and we go home, we went home together, like, and we're, you know, we would eat meals together and watch TV and joke around. And, you know, we went through ups and downs, injuries and this and that, wins and losses, you know. So we, we became really close friends and, you know, we talk every day. You know, I see him. Uh, not as much now because, you know, we live in different states, but we talk almost every day. So uh, that's my boy. And, you know, like we just clicked and we both, uh, you know, he's Muslim, I'm a Christian, but we're both like men of God. So, you know, we bonded through that, like the mutual understanding, like, all right, like he takes his religion seriously and vice versa. So that was like another thing. I think, you know, even though we're not praying to the same God, like mm -hmm. we both respected each other because, you know, we both saw that, you know, we were, we were true to our faith and, you know, it's just like a mutual feel like understanding and feeling that you have with someone else that has that same uh, background, but, you know, it might be different religion, but it's still the same thing really you know the same like so. foundation where uh you're kind of guided by your faith no definitely that's that's just amazing to hear you know like in a day in a day and age where you know that's kind of a 
a hot topic at least it, it's very refreshing to see you know um people of different faith being able to understand and reach that common ground and, and also just an amazing friendship that's been able to to grow as a result of mixed martial arts i know bilal has got a little bit of the jokes the jokes especially you know uh, there was the video about the athlete retreat where he was just kind of messing around and joking around yes, yeah he's like was i there... think he was like yeah I was at lunch and he was like, I had a lunch table with like Khabib and like <laughs> yeah. your other guy. Like, like none of those people were even there. Like, Khabib wasn't at the UFC after retreat. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, Oh, I see this guy sitting by himself. So I said, Oh, hey, come over. <laughs> then, yeah. <laughs> no, that Our no. Best friend. was there any, yeah. was there ever any, uh, was there any ever, you know, you being from New York and him being from Chicago, any sports heated rivalries in the sports, other sports, you know, basketball, oh, baseball? I don't give a crap about sports, so we never had that like oh. animosity towards each other. Oh, that's all that <laughs> But um, I mean, he knows that New York, like New York, is better than Chicago. So in all in all ways, so he he couldn't really like he never tried to argue with me over that because he just knew that he would lose the argument. Was there ever yeah. the argument of uh, Sh- Chicago deep dish versus New York style pizza? Oh. Yeah argued about pizza yeah i mean they're eating that's like a casserole whatever they eat. <laughs> we're eating real pizza so yeah i mean you know california is yeah. kind of california is kind of you know trash on the pizza department but i mean yeah. got to come out to new york sometime and get some a slice from there you know chicago got the casseroles i can't lie you know deep dish not my move yeah it's not it's too much 